Hi there. I'm Hoozy, your friendly AI assistant. I'm here to walk you through everything you need to know about Woozit.in and help you craft your perfect personal bio page. Open the website Woozit.in, who is it in, and click on Get Started. Enter the required details to sign up. If you already have an account, click on Login. Enter your email. Click and send OTP. Check your inbox. You should see an email from Woozit. Open the email and copy the OTP. Paste the OTP and log in. Click on Add Page to create a new page. Enter the Details M page slug will be generated automatically. You can change it, add your title or title relevant to the profile. You can use the tools in the editor to change the color or add other styling. The page should look like this. Click on Add once you are done. You can now see the profile on the left. The position can be changed to right as well. Next, let's add an image. Choose the image you wish to upload. If you want to provide a link, please do. After clicking Add, this is how the page appears now. We will now add social media links. Let's add a section title to separate the image we added. Enter the text Social Media Profiles and click on Add. Now you can see the section that we added. Let's add the social media links. Enter the link and link text. I will go ahead and enter LinkedIn URL and I will enter the text as LinkedIn. You can add anything you like. Click on Add button. Now you can see that LinkedIn is added as a section. You can also upload an image if you want to beautify this block. Let's add few other social media links. As you can see now, we have added Facebook as well as Twitter. You can easily drag and drop to arrange the sections. Next, we will add a contact form. We will have to go to the form menu before we can add a form here. Click on new form to create a new form. Add the title, I will call it get in touch. Click on create. By default, the form will have a button labeled submit. I will change it to contact. Enter the email to which you want the form submissions to be sent to, or you want to be notified. Enter the input fields and types, and mark if you want the field to be mandatory. This is how my contact form editor looks like. Once the contact form is saved, if you wish to send an email with the link to another page, you can to from the page to be shared dropdown. Click on submit, and your custom contact form is ready. Let's head back to the page. Click on Customize. Let's add the form now. Select the form. As you can see, I have selected the form Get in Touch. Click on Add to place it on the page. The form has been added to the page. Arrange the sections as you wish. This is how it looks now. Let's add a video. Enter the video link or upload. As you can see, the video has been added. Now organize the page. This is how it appears now. Let's add a footer image. I've selected the image. Let me click on Add. You can show or hide the profile by clicking on this button. Click on Share. By default, it is a public URL. If you want to share with specific emails, toggle to Private. Click on Submit. You are done now. You can log out or leave it logged in so that you do not have to log in again on this device. Open the URL you copied in a new browser or share it with whosoever you wish to. Thank you.